I'll stay in low. I'm following you guys. Ram's already identified them. Yeah. <laughs> As usual. Broken fighter. Uh, surely, surely you mean bow fighter Ram. <laughs> <laughs> or he's, no, he, he means broken fighter. Yes, I thought you might. Yeah. <laughs> Hawks P40s. I like those. So hooks. let's see, where's where are we going? Are we going high? What's what's the deal? Well, with this? I'm I'm staying low. Ram looks like he's going. Although I should probably climb so I can actually put some speed in. He's climbing to give you top cover. Right, I'm going to do a shallow climb. Oh bless! Look at that guy. Apologizes because it's his first historical battle. a lot of 110s are we all 110s oh my goodness um more than half of us the only one who's not 110s are the bots <laughs> yeah that's right yeah we are <laughs> bizarrely enough oh there's only two of us have actually selected bomb loads that's why we've got the bomb marker yeah i don't have bombs in my eastern front camo pattern. Is so it... what is this guy? I got one gunner. All right. Yeah, one tail gunner. That's it. It's not a bomber. It's a heavy fighter. It just happens to be able to carry bombs as well. Roger that. Oh, I just realized there's no bomb aiming reticle unless you're in a bomber. So I'm I'm not gonna oh, yeah. hit I'm just not gonna hit anything. And the and the and the other one is only in arcade mode, right? Yeah. Apparently, if I dive, I can actually get an aiming reticle. That would make sense, because you only get... But the thing is, I'm not actually a dive bomber. I know you get one if you're in a Stuka. I'll get some altitude, then I'll try and dive on this artillery. No, I won't. I'm going for those medium tanks. I think you're pretty much out there by yourself. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> I'll get killed by the flak. Story of my life. Don't do it! And I'm getting a nosebleed. I've never gone this fast in the BF-110 before. <clears throat> There's ram up above. Incoming. Here they come. Oh, that's that's Luke and the, the bot. Luke the bot. And Alex. Luke and Alex are coming for us. Bomb's gone. And hit something. Didn't kill anything. Uh, there's a real target, a P-40, out in the distance there. Yep. I it's like those two bots are on you. I don't see them. Oh, I see them. Miles away. So you can come up on them, get rid of them, but... Oh. They're going to be way too fast. I don't know if I'll ever be able to catch up or anything. No! Ah! Uh, did the bow fire just crash? There's a bow fort heading right at me. Oh, yes! I got the bot, I think. Yep. Did, yeah, you did. <laughs> Set him on fire, anyway. Is he down? He's not, I've yep, got he's gone. This. My tail gun is giving him shit. 
Uh, there's I'm Fat coming down in the P40. Oh, he's coming right at you. Yep. There it was. Him. Told me not to turn this thing, but I'm turning it. Pretty sure it's not I that bad it. at turning. Yeah, it is. <laughs> well, I mean, I expected worse for some reason, because I always... Fair enough. Couple of hits. I always try to just make things out to be worse than they are, so that when they're good, it's you, grand. Yeah, so so you look good. <laughs> <laughs> it's the uh, chief engineer Scott method, isn't it? Oh, Captain, it's going to take twenty hours to fix it. So when he fixes it in four hours, he looks like a miracle worker. I have I have a new thing that everybody's crazy about. It's called Scott Strafe. Scott Strafe. Who the hell? I've got it's somebody a, on my it's ass. A new, it's, it's a new, well, because I decided that Wargaming uh, North America doesn't want to help me, and so I have to have a some sort of European accent. I've got this Kitty Hawk. So I've created Scott Strafe. Kitty Hawk on my ass. Trying to get the Rams actually trying to get to him. Oh, he's coming back around, but I can't get him. That's not happening. He just flew past my right wing. Yeah, I'm trying to turn. <laughs> I know I shouldn't. <laughs> There's, he's just got this host of PF 110s on him. Another P40 probably coming in. Actually, he's coming. Yep, he's coming right for us. Just it's passing it. me on the right. He's, is he still sitting on me? He is. He's, he's, there's five planes on him, and he's still determined to get me. There's my air assist streak. Uh, in fact, no, it's just like playing an arcade battle. The entire enemy team are going for me. Trying to get back to him, but... P40. Got one engine left. That's all you need. This thing does not fly on one engine. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you get back to base? No chance. I'm no. going to have to land, but there's nowhere to land. That tree is looking dangerous. As are these buildings. I wonder if you could, like, support somebody else's wing with your own wing and, like, tap them back to base. <laughs> I wouldn't like to try it. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's ever tried that. Yeah, it's like playing an arcade battle when I get recognized the oh. entire enemy team just latches onto my tail. I think it was mostly because you were just out in front, though, to be honest. Yeah, but, you know, when you've got five BF-110s on your ass and you're not attempting to evade. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I think it means... Yeah, know. no, it happens. Call it ego, but I think it's probably just that they, everybody wants to shoot the sheriff. Even though the sheriff is shit. No, I've had it happen to me. Not not really in this game yet, but... Well, well no, I don't think so. But yeah, that's alright. Get yourselves killed going after me. It's not like I'm dangerous. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. You know, if they're all going to throw their lives away trying to kill one of the least effective pilots on the enemy team, <laughs> far be it from us to interrupt them. <laughs> I'm just killing ground targets at this point because I don't know where anything else is. I'm not going to go after anybody. Yeah. Not by my... I don't know where... Where did Ram go? Oh, there he is. He's, he's just going after everybody, I guess. Have it, artillery. If there's one thing I can hit, it's ground targets. <laughs> yeah. They're so easy. Actually, can we win this by knocking out all the ground targets? Because I'm dead, I don't see the score indicator anymore. Destroy enemy ground targets, find and destroy the enemy spotters. So, Right, so those are uh, the... Um, the I've got two bots... And two humans. 
Yeah, yeah, it's not the it's not those bots. There are I think they're A twenties. Spot an aircraft. They're gonna be out there somewhere. Let's check the map. I can't even check the map. Oh yes I can. Here we go. They're gonna be around around there somewhere. I see a green dot. Hold on. Oh, there's the boat. Medium tanks that we can't take care of. No, nope, I don't think. Well, we do have bomb. Do we still have bombers left? Nah. With bomb. Ah, uh, we got one guy that can load bombs, but we've we've got a bot here. There's, there's a Beaufort flying right next to him, and he's paying no attention whatsoever. Ram's too far away. There's the spit. Quite a ways out, though. Well, I'm I'm on the way, but I probably should have stuck with him a, a little while ago. It'll take me a while. Right. I'm watching Ram. If he doesn't get nailed by... Although I don't see any anti-aircraft guns at the enemy base. Ram's just flipped. He's diving on the spit. <laughs> Let's see if he can pull off some crazy maneuver. You'd be surprised. 10 kilometers. Spit seems to be close. completely oblivious. One kilometer away. Spit's not trying to maneuver. Oh, there's the second. Go on, Ram. This guy couldn't make it any easier if he tried. Uh oh, bro fighter's coming right at me. Yeah, he just sawed his wing right off. No, it's a bow fort, not a bow fighter, I think. The bomber. Whatever it is. Why did I? That looked like it should have hit, but it did not. Yeah, it's a bow fort. Oh, not anymore. <laughs> not anymore. It isn't. Not anymore. It isn't. Now it's a, it's a, it's it's, it's flying wreckage. I want some extra points. Let me still shoot at it. Yes, there's some. Oh, it's too far. I don't know why I'm still shooting. I did not expect us to win that. And I think there he goes. I think, yeah. No. He's trying to soft land it, I think, maybe. It's hard to tell. Yeah. He's never going to make it home. He's flying the wrong direction for one thing. <laughs> oh, he's pulling back up. He's still in control of that thing, I think. Yeah, I, I thought a whole team of BF 110s. I mean, it, they were obsolete even when they weren't obsolete, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Yeah, he's, uh, he's not pulling up out of that one. Yeah, you got it. I was like, I'm going to use the cannons now. Team BF-110. <laughs> <laughs> what? Pain 12. He's like, ah, oh, you stole my kill. I don't think he's serious. I think he's just messing. Sort of. <laughs> Grab some of those ground targets while you can. Unless they're medium tanks. They're getting pounded or by some... some... There's some artillery and stuff. Oh, that'll be it. Yeah, there's definitely far less douchebaggery in historical. I mean, I put a video up of Arcade a couple of days ago, uh, and the, the amount of mid-air... There were like seven or eight mid-air collisions. And, oh, the collisions? Oh, yeah. And people getting shot down by their own team in one, you know, in the space of eight minutes. There was one guy on the enemy team in a Yak-1B went into a climb, and in one, he was in the four or five seconds he was in that climb, he did more damage to the enemy team with five planes on his tail shooting him, shooting through each other to get to him than I think he'd done by, you know, shooting at us. It was absolutely just ridiculous. I managed eight kills out of it. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, okay, man. A wretched hive of scum and villainy. It can be fun, though. But you've got to know what you're getting yourself into before you click that battle button when you got arcade selected you know honestly i'm not gonna lie about this the the, the most fun i had in arcade is actually with the biplanes it just 
You just go in there, you goof off, you don't care. It's just kind of like that thrill of flight, mm. quick, just arcadey, Star Fox, whatever, you know? Yeah. I mean, you, you know, going into an arcade battle and expecting people to behave like adults, it's arcade. You wouldn't go into a game of Call of Duty and expect everybody not to be petulant children now, would you? And there's some good people flying in arcade, but they're definitely far outnumbered by the douches. Yeah, it's, uh, no, generally it's, it's a bag of horrible, but yeah. the funny thing is I always, like the other day I thought, you know, I'm going to go, I think it's 30 kills to unlock your first camo. Oh crap. My engines just went out. That's Ooh, nice. That's not good. I didn't realize that was going to happen. What? Well, uh, they were red. I guess they just, yeah. If you keep running them at hundred percent when they're red, you will. Ouch. I wasn't paying attention cause I was like, Ugh. See if I can land. I might lose my wings, but oh, hey, they're okay. We're good. <laughs> Just I was watching. talking too much and not paying attention to the fact that I was uh, wepping too much. But uh, I don't know. I was in my P40 the other day, and I'm like, you know, I just want to get some more kills so I can get my camo pattern. And, and of course, I get shot down immediately. Of course. And then end up doing better in my worst plane. Yeah. I sometimes find that if I'm in arcade, I think I'll, I'll, I'll jump into the you know the piece of shit first. Save my good planes for later. And then I don't get shot down. <laughs> and I'm like, will somebody please kill me? I want to fly my, you know, Mustang. Um, but it just doesn't happen. Ram, Ram just got shot down by AA. Ah. Oh, my. <laughs> That's not good. <laughs> Oh, look. Look, somebody landed by me to, to help with repairs. Oh, yeah, duct tape in there? Check that out. <laughs> it's like, I'll cover you, literally, with my wing. He's got he's putting a sunshade over my uh, my gunner. Bless. <laughs> so how come we've not won yet? I run out of fire extinguishers on this thing. Oh, they've still got one AI that needs to be shot down. One HE-51. Oh. It'd be nice if we... That'd be funny if the AI... Oh, and my wing just, like, burnt off. That's just harsh. Is this, like, fire going to spread to everything else and kill me? It might. Does it do that? It can, unless it goes out. Oh. Normally, you could reduce throttle, kill the engine, and then, you know, increase your airspeed to try to blow the fire out. Mm. You can't really increase your airspeed at the moment. Now, I have a, I have a question. If, if you're shot down... And, but you're still alive. Like, you did a soft landing out in the middle of nowhere. If you stay in the plane, is that worth more than leaving? No, nah, I don't think so. Plane's wrecked. Your plane's wrecked. Because I always wondered if it counted as something extra. So it's like you might as well just hit J and leave it? Yeah. That guy next to you... Uh, I have my gunner up. Drifter 808 are the only two left... Well, I was going to say flying, but they're both on the ground. Drifters. Why did you... So why did this guy land? Payne, why did you land? Are you damaged? Or are you just trying to be funny? Because, uh... Well, it is pretty funny. It is funny, but, uh... Are we going to win? <laughs> Eventually. One of us is either shot down or crash-landed. You've got to be joking. We have lost. They have one AI. And we have... <sighs> Why did Payne <laughs> land? Oh, your engine's, engine's dead. Route, yeah. His engine's dead. Oh, He's in pain. War Thunder. Wow, that sucks. You never cease trolling us, do you? <laughs> oh, I feel dumb because I was too busy talking and running my mouth that I, I kept like instinctively hitting WEP once in a while and leaving my engines. And I was I didn't even pay attention to the fact that they were red until too late. Oh, it's like, oh yeah, my engine just cut off. That's how you learn. <laughs>